So check it out. This is the new jig. The old one, the prototype is gone. This thing is tight, tight, tight. Oh, look, it's smooth. It's got Cerakote H graphite black baked on it, which helps it slide. Square with the platen, all square. Got thick angles. I had thin angles on here before. These are thick stainless steel ones. I had the thin aluminum ones and they would flex a little bit. That's going to be a nice solid, nice solid throat there. Won't go anywhere. This is the system that I've been using. Using a jig carrier or a, a blank carrier is what I'm calling that thing. And it goes through there, presents the blank to the belt, and then this rotate or this uh, curved end, which is matching the profile of the blade, rides right along that shelf. So you get a perfect profile. All you gotta do is just Follow that up and down like that. It'll be a perfect profile. I've got some other videos with my old jig showing how that works, but this one's going to be even better. So how you do? No guessing. Anyways. So it looks like down there. Just twist that in to change the bevel. And what I will do that now is what I'm planning to do now is put a circular slot through here and have a bolt go in so that I can and then I will attach a like a protractor angle out here so that I can get more accuracy than these marks and then the way I've been grinding typically is I'll grind with the blank down with the cutting edge down and so I will tilt the whole platen at, an ang at the angle that I want like this so that it grinds the bevel in a downward way. That gives me a lot longer life on the belts. We've got one belt here. This is a 36 grit Cubitron. It's got uh, about 35 blades ground on it and it's still trucking. So those are ground, they were all ground face down. I've ground before with a uh, a 50 grit and I got 19 blanks out of it ground those were all ground face up so grinding face down I'm getting quite a bit more life out of those belts which I'm ha a lot happier about that because they are expensive belts they're like 12 13 dollars a piece press shipping anyways this is the new platen I put a stainless steel went from a an eighth inch aluminum to a quarter inch stainless steel plate on there or a stainless steel angle on there. Did stainless steel just I don't know what the reason was. <clears throat> Seemed like a good idea. Uh, probably not really necessary to do stainless steel. Cheaper to do something else but when I did these in stainless, this in stainless these two in stainless and this in stainless and these are stainless bolts. This is all mild steel but it's got a Cerakote on it. So hopefully that'll keep the rust down keep it working a long time. Let me see the old jig.
All right, this is the old jig, and you can see what happens there. It gets gets rusted from the water and stuff, you know, cooling water on there. So that's why I put the Cerakote on it. And this worked pretty good. Just wasn't near as accurate as this one's going to be. And it wasn't designed to be that accurate. I was I built it so that I could learn where I needed to control the accuracy and how to control the accuracy. And I used it for about a year, run quite a few knives through there. A lot of knives through there, actually. Several dozen knives through this. With good success. But you can see that, you know, it's... Dimensions aren't very tight. It wasn't very smooth. But I learned all where I needed to improve and we got it.